once you uh, understand how to create a Padlet, there's some other settings, I think, that are important, and I'll show you how to uh, go through establishing these parameters. Now, uh, the first would be security or privacy. And uh, what, what I want to establish for my Padlet is uh, I like anyone to be able to view it, but only people I identify to be able to modify or change it or add to it. And so I've done that here. So you can see totally public here. I've selected this option and the capability I've given the general public among these options is basically just to view. So they will be able to see what's been generated, but that's all. And, and down here, I can add other people. And you see I've added Cindy. And I've given her uh, the capability of writing. And I could do the same by uh, including the email of other individuals. And this combination, I think, makes a lot of sense. You want to share or collaborate in the construction and modification of a Padlet, but you don't want anyone to be able to modify it, but you want anyone to have perhaps uh, just viewing privileges. So that's what this combination here would establish, and I'm going to set that. And the other thing you're going to want to know is how to uh, offer others um, an address. So what's going to happen originally is Padlet is going to put in a default address that won't be particular, particularly meaningful. And so you see what I've done here is to enter something in addition to the first part of my Padlet address, which is padlet.com slash markgraby slash, and I've added Kona. So you see the existing access address up here, um, and that's the way you would do it. So um, you're given the opportunity to enter something that's more meaningful, and so I thought Kona would be more meaningful. So these uh, additions allow access but protected access, and uh, in educational setting, this combination is uh, very often important.